Hey what's going on guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a sort of play review type video of this inform Lacazette um, so as you can see it's only his first inform um, but he's been really good for me so far uh, it's slightly worrying to imagine how good his future informs must be let alone his team of the season which I've heard is insane um, but yeah as you can see his base card stats 89 pace 87 dribbling 87 shooting, 76 passing, and 75 physical. So he's got all really well-rounded stats. Um, as you can see, you know he's a very fast player. Um, I like to to compare this guy to Sergio Aguero, just because you know he's got a similar he's got a similar sort of pace and um, and dribbling to him. Um, they feel very similar on the ball. I'd say Lacazette feels a little bit quicker though. Um, he feels like he can accelerate away from defenders a little bit faster. Um, but obviously Aguero has slightly better shooting uh, from long range, which is probably why Aguero is my favourite striker on, on Ultimate Team at the moment. But yeah, this guy's also got a very good shot, you know, 87 shooting. Um, there's no complaints about that at all. One on one with the goalkeeper, he's going to finish basically everything. Um, any chances that you have with this guy, m like 9 out of 10 times, you're going to find the back of the net, which is a very good uh, thing to have about a striker, you know, so he puts away his chances very well. Also got that 76 passing, which is useful, um, and also 75 physical, which is pretty good for a guy that's five foot nine. Um, obviously, he's not the tallest of players, but he also feels very strong on the ball, um, which is very good to have uh, for a striker as well. Just because you know you don't want to you don't want to use a player that gets easy, easily pushed off the ball. Um, so this guy can definitely sort of hold his own, you know, up front. Um, any tussles that he gets, like one on one with players, he'll. He'll often actually come out on top, you know, even if it's a strong centre back or someone, he'll um he'll often come out with the ball. Um, he's also got that high medium work rate, which combines very nicely with his attacking positioning, um, which is somewhere in the 90s, I think, from what I can remember. Um, so yeah, this guy is basically in the right place at the right time. Um, whenever you go forward, which is very good to uh, to have on a player like this. Just because, you know, the, the option of three balls and stuff like that when going forward with his pace. Um, you're going to be on throw and goal a lot, you know, one on one with the keeper. Um, and most of the time he's going to find the back of the net, as I said earlier. Um, obviously he's got that four star weak foot and four star skill moves as well, which is very good to have on a striker. Um, that four star skill moves, you know, a lot of people find as a benchmark uh, for a striker. Just because it gives them the option of like using skills like the Berbatov spin and stuff like that when going forward. Um, which I find is pretty useful to be honest in my opinion um, so yeah this card costs around 80k at the moment I think um, I'm showing you him on the draft just because I'm currently saving up for his second inform um, but he's definitely a player you should try and pick up if you have the coins so yeah that's today's video guys remember to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new around here and I will see you in the next video